What's up? Music with Monalee. I am Monalee. Welcome back to my channel. It has been, well, I was supposed to post on Monday, at least to my patron, patron, Patreon, but um, Audrey got herself a 24-hour tummy bug, and apparently it's going around like crazy everywhere, like everywhere I'm hearing about it. So anyway, luckily it was only 24 hours and none of us got it. Oh my God. Because I told you guys before, if anybody even says the word stomach virus, I got it for a week. And I need an IV. <laughs> so anyway, I'm glad to be back. Um, as you can hear, the girls are playing Barbies, so they are healthy and happy. And, um, you know, it's cliche, but family comes first. And as much as I love this channel and doing this, um, I want to make sure that everything in my home life is uh, good. So thank you, especially to my patrons for being so patient and um, understanding and supportive and loving and wonderful and, you know, even when they disagree with me wholeheartedly and tell me that. Also, I wanted to thank um, Christian. Y'all, I haven't checked my P.O. box in so long. To be honest, I forgot I had it. It's just when I stopped doing the channel, I honestly forgot about it. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me for that. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say thanks. Um, he sent me some these albums and I'd never heard of these people before and it's so funny because I love albums, obviously. I, I used to have them hanging on my wall, but now I have them um, in just a separate place. And I do have a record player, so I'm super excited to play these. So I had never heard of the Ozark Mountain Daredevils before, or the best, or well, obviously, uh, let's see, Buffalo Springfield. I just love the album covers. They're just so awful and wonderful. And um, so I sent a text to my, my family text. We have a group text. I was like, has anybody heard of these? And my brothers were like, no. My mom was like, oh my God, those are great fans. And I was like, go figure, because they totally look like they're from the 70s. So of course my mom was like, yeah, they're great. So I'm excited to pop them on the old record player and give them a listen. Um, I also got a postcard. Oh no, I think I left it in my car when I was reading it. Um, from overseas about some suggestions of bands and as soon as I get the postcard I will bring it in and show you guys because I was excited to get it um so thank you uh I promise to check my PO box more I may actually be canceling it um but that's a reason coming up way later I can talk about later so anyway uh thank you and yeah so this video right now I'm doing it's been requested that I react again to Dan I can never pronounce her name Danelia Tulashova. It's such a pretty name. I just, I really, I, I know some people say that like Russian and Ukrainian names are super harsh, but I like them. I think they're really pretty. Um, sounds like they always sound like runway, it's like supermodels or something to me. Um, or maybe like ice skaters or something, figure skaters. So Daniela Tulashova. It's been a while since I reacted to her. And if y'all remember, she's not my favorite. Um, out of the, the main singers, Angelina, Courtney, Grace, Daniela, Dan, Danelia, um, she was probably my least favorite. So it's been a while, but everyone keeps telling me, okay, she's grown up, you know, she's she's more coming into her own, into her voice, she's um, getting coached, which as y'all know, I'm a big advocate for voice coach, for being coached, even if you're a brilliant singer. Adele has a coach. Even if you are the most brilliant, Mariah Carey has a coach, just like an athlete. An athlete has a coach, a trainer. It helps you keep getting better, right? So someone said that she like has a good coach and you know, whatever. So I'm excited. And like seven days ago, she posted, she did a cover of Adele. So if y'all know me, you know already, I'm like, mm, really? Because Adele, Adele's voice is ridiculous. Um, she's doing Set Fire to the Rain. Not an easy song, not Adele's hardest. Not easy. And if I remember correctly, I think this was the James Bond, wasn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. Anyway, I think it was the James Bond theme song. Let's see if I'm going to like it. Am I going to like it? Ooh, most likely. Okay, okay. Most likely. Interesting. All right, so we're going to see if I'm going to like this. I don't know. I didn't like her last time. Actually, the past like three times. I think I'm just, I wasn't a fan. There was one time I think she was in like a mall or something and I didn't like it. Then there was the Christmas one. Didn't like it. So either third time's a charm or three strikes and you're out. We'll see what's going to happen here. Let me put up the old trusted eight ball. I'm nervous because I know if I don't like it, I'm going to get a lot of crap for this. Okay, here we go.
say this she looks very pretty and clicking off of her video and then seeing myself in this video I almost threw up but okay so um I I actually didn't hate it um there was a couple parts that I could have done without or I thought were a little bit shaky a couple um couple of the I would call them trills couple of, you know um, that I, I maybe could have done without, or just, I didn't think it sounded that good. One thing I miss, um, I think what that sets apart a singer like Adele is that her passion, there's something that comes out in her voice that you just feel it. Like you just feel this like emotion or something like, um, when she does that, watch it burn. And she has that almost like a growl sort of, or it's almost like she's not going to hit She's just like, going for it. I, I miss that with this version. This was kind of like hearing just a good singer sing it. I don't know how else to describe it. Like hearing someone perform at a fair or a mall or like a local bar, you know, and you're like, all right, that was good. Yeah, I'll take that. But it, it's not mind blowing. It's not, um, so good that you're just like, oh my gosh, you got the feels from it or anything. And not every singer has to be that way, but on my channel, at least to get a 10, yeah, you got to be that way. So I'm going to give it an eight because I feel like if, which is way better than I've given her ever. I think she, I don't even think she's gotten like above a five on my channel, if I remember correctly. Um, I think she has gotten a lot better. I think she has definitely more control of her voice. I think that she has more skill in her voice. It and um yeah, definitely definitely more control. I feel like she's reined it in. It's not all over the place, just spastic, hyper. It's it's more controlled. It's not as whiny. Um so yeah, and I, I like the the hair color that she has. Um she's adorable, you know, and I think that she is a good performer. Um so I think if she can I feel like she's singing maybe how she thinks she should sing instead of just letting it go, like letting it happen, um, letting out the energy and the passion. And if it's, if it's a growl or a, you know, like a, like, I don't know how to explain it. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it comes out as sounding really good instead of just sounding 
um, super recorded and rehearsed and whatever. Like you want to feel it. And I think that she's getting there. So I'd be excited to hear something else. Now this was just seven days ago she posted this. So um, I haven't been on her channel in a while. So if there's something else that you think I should hear, then please put it in the comments below. Um, if you disagree with me and you want to tell me I suck, put that in the comments below. If you agree, let me know. If you think that I should have given her higher on my scale or lower or whatever, let me know. And I will be back at some point with another music with Lonely. Cheers.